Need an assist on finding a new vehicle? Head to Bob Moore Ford because we're dishing out deals on our entire inventory, like the 2013 F-150 or F-250. Pick yours, then roll out. Visit BobMooreFordOKC.com for a chance to win our monthly prize. Durant pull up jumper up the rim and oh! And the Thunder win! Oh, come on, let's sing the Thunder song. All right. When, when you, you hear, hear the sound of thunder, thunder, don't you get too scared. Just grab your thunder buddy and say these magic words. Hello, welcome back to a playoff edition of the Thunder Buddies podcast. From here on out, at least uh, for the next two months, maybe two weeks. Who I was going to say, you're awfully optimistic, AC. I, yeah, hey, wait till months. you're introduced. Yeah, come on. Hey. All right, with me on the, this playoff edition is, uh, you know, as usual, Darnell Mayberry, who's telling me before the podcast how Andrew Bynum is going to turn this playoffs on his head. And then we have the honorary Grizzlies super fan, Barry Trammell. Do you still have them going to the finals? Moment well, the answer is the answer is <laughs> well, the answer is yes because I don't. Uh, so unlike no everybody reason. else, I don't. I don't recap. I mean, I, I set sail and I stay with it. I don't, well, I don't. I don't understand that logic. We've talked about it. We've talked about it all, all season. Why can't you see the product on the court? Well, and, you can and change your uh, opinion. Because you said still. Because you said you use the word still. Well, that's what I'm saying. Which infers that all right, if you want to switch, you can. But if you do, you're illegitimate. So I no. That was your inference. Why does the word still mean that? I was just wondering. If I don't you, know because you picked them to go to the finals before the season, and I was wondering if you still think that. Because guess what? I picked the Clippers to go to the finals before the season. I still think they might, but I'm probably not going to pick them. So, I mean, who are you who are you picking to go to the finals? If I readjusted right now, I guess I would go with the You know what? I'll go with the Spurs. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad choice. Spurs are never a bad choice. Who are you picking, Slater? Man, I, I can't decide yet. I, it's going to be Thunder or Clippers. I don't know who's going to win that second round series, but we'll talk about second round a little later. Let's go first round now. We finally figured out who the Thunder are playing. Memphis. Barry, are you pumped about that? Yes. Uh, Although it's not going to be all that fun to watch. It's going to be a grind. I don't know. I mean, I kind of enjoy that. It it provides some, like, I don't know. It's it, You know what? It, it's like an intense... And when I go to the movies, I like to watch, oh, chick flicks, the wrong word. But I like, I like to see something that's a little lighthearted. I don't want to see anything that's a 10. Like, remember Training Day from 10, 12, 15 yeah. years? Yeah. Oh, I, I definitely mean, I just put you through the grinder, the whole dang movie. Now, let me say something. Yeah, but then, if you start talking bad about Training Day, you got to no, get I'm just out of say, here. No, I'm saying it just <laughs> yeah. when you walk out of there, you think, holy crap, I need to lay down. Yeah, but then you wake up the next day, you're like, wow, that was a really good movie. I guess. I guess yeah, but you're just worn out, and the Grizzlies' thunder just wears you out. Just wears you out. Let me tell you who else agrees with me. I don't know if anybody else on the face of the earth agrees with me, but I know of one person that does. Kevin Durant? Kevin Durant. Yeah. How do you think they're going to defend him now that Westbrook's back? You still I th- who the Thunder? How will the how Grizzlies? Will the, Grizzlies the Grizzlies will put Tony Allen inside of Kevin Durant's jersey, and two weeks later he will emerge, and one will still be standing. One then one will fall over, and one will go play in the second round. Those not days a, are done. He's not even a starter anymore. Well, he's going to play a bunch uh, in uh, in in uh, Thunderland. Yeah, I probably, mean they'll start Rudy Gray. They'll start Rudy Gay. But. Rudy Gay. I mean, no. Uh, Payshon Prince. Payshon Prince. Yeah, they w- <laughs> the Thunder wishes they still had Rudy Gay. Boy, do the Thunder wish the Grizzlies still had Rudy Gay. You know who's going to play a lot of minutes? Mike Miller. Mike Miller's starting right now. Or, I don't know. He's not starting. But you, you know Mike Miller played all 82 games this season? All Maybe 82. Some, who would you rather have? That's crazy. To me. Mike Miller or Karan Butler? Karan Butler. He's a better player. I don't know. I mean, Mike Miller's just so automatic if he's Let open. me say something. Karan Butler's a better player. He might be, but. If you're going to throw out a guy who's going to shoot six threes a game, give me Mike Miller. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, I mean, he's not going to do that every night. And Cron Butler can do some other stuff, although he didn't do anything last night. If you're a veteran with a championship, apparently you, you're you entitled to do anything on this team. Well, now that's a good point because as much as Derek Fisher's played fantastic this year, he sprung a leak in the last three weeks, four weeks, ever how long it goes back. Yep. He sprung a leak. Yeah. Although – 
That was a huge In the last block. two minutes, he did make some great block. plays. And, of course, uh, I'm still, in, the, I'm in, still the press really. confer- in the press conference last night, Scotty's got to throw the you – know, wave the palm you, branches at, Dar- at Derek Fisher. You want to know how ridiculous that Derek Fisher block was last night? I had – the view was weird for me because there was – you know how the people are kind of standing and I couldn't – I couldn't see under the rim. All I saw was Caldwell Pope go up, and I saw somebody block, like an attempted dunk. And I was like, ooh, great block by Serge Ibaka. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I swear to you, I was like, ooh, and, and, that must and have been Scotty's a great right. play by Serge. It was a block at the rim. It wasn't just stuffing the guys he's shooting. It's up by the rim, for crying out loud. It was. I, I, but still, he's going to have to play somebody else in the last five minutes. He can't. I was. I think he's going to go. When he finally brought back Tybo Cephalosha in the last four, I was thinking, what took you so long? <laughs> oh, man. Man, he I don't know if he thinks Derek Fisher or Karan Butler are better defenders than Tabo. But and people are looking at Tabo missing three pointers, thinking he shouldn't be out there for other purposes. He needs to be out there to play defense. Yeah, no kidding. I, exactly. I agree with he should be out there. He especially when they're getting lit up by dudes like Contavious Caldwell Pope. And Tyreek re- Evans. But, but he really needs to start hitting threes. I mean, his shot looks I don't care. He doesn't need to dreadful. start hitting threes. He needs to stop shooting threes. I mean, uh, he's basically. That, that could be just as bad as missing. That's, that's what I mean. He's basically. He's not going mean, to make him, guys. Look, look, he's, he's not going to make him. His shot's gone. What? Temporarily. I don't know why. But it, it, he it'll come back. He shot 41% last year. I, can't, I know, but it's he, gone for now. Because here's the deal. He's at the front of the rim, bounce off, or rim. He's not getting close. As soon as it's launched, you I mean. can see, hey, that's not going in. You know, know it's not going in. He's about as reliable as Andre Robertson right now, seriously. Oh, that's a low three. blow. From three. I actually seriously. love him. Here's when I'll get serious about Scotty Brooks in the playoffs. When he starts having uh, Andre Robertson in shorts and uh, tank top so he can check into the game and not in a business suit. Who would you – Who would you? Yeah. yeah, who would you inactivate? What are my options? I, I'd say Hashim to beat if you're not playing the, well, like the beat. The beat, if, but deactivate. if you're playing Memphis, you got to. I think I said inactivate. Deactivate. Yeah, either one. I, I knew what you meant. Uh, uh, who else we got? Perry you Jones. Need to beat, you need to beat against Memphis, perhaps. Perry Jones is probably I would play around. Roberson over Perry Jones all the yeah, time. Yeah, but Perry Jones is the guy that at some point in the game you might be like, yo, we need him on the floor. I don't think against Memphis. No, no I you don't need him against Memphis. I don't think you really need Andre Robertson against Memphis. Probably not, because you you know guard. I mean, you might. Here's the deal: if Mike Miller does what you think he's going, yeah, to. yeah, but you got Tavo back. Stay on Mike Miller. Courtney Lee. Eh. Courtney Lee's a, a wild card in this series. He let him up out there, in Memphis. The only issues Reggie Jackson's defense. It was terrible last night. <laughs> Siva went around him two or three times. Yeah, but you know the what? Louisville great. <laughs> you know what? And then Brooks Siva. brought in Fisher, and I'm like, it's supposed to get better. Yeah, it didn't get better. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, and then of course, but I mean, uh, and then the uh, of course when you're playing, when you're playing uh, Ralph Sampson and Akeem Olajuwon, it's very tough to win the game. So they a, were lucky to get. They were lucky to win. Not a good performance by Kendrick Perkins and Serge Ibaka, or Collison and Adams. Didn't hey, matter who was right, in. They right, just all right, got lit right. up. I gotta say, and I know Darnell agrees with me. You sure about that? Yeah. Okay. They got to play Steve, Brooks has got to play Steven Adams a lot more minutes. You were right. I and agree he's pro- with you. And he's probably got to play Kendrick Perkins a lot less. I know Kendrick Perkins is going to matter in this Memphis series because he always oh, has. Oh, I think, I think Memphis is a terrible matchup for Adams. Adams has been really good against Memphis this year. Has he? Mm-hmm. Perkins said something last night, Barry, that I'm sure you it would have raised your eyebrows. What did he say? He said he wants to make up. Slater, you were in there. He says he, he he's looking forward to Memphis because he wants to make up for last year's playoff series he had. And I started to say to him, you guarded those big fellas as about as well as yeah, you could have. Yeah, he did have. a good job. Yeah, it wasn't his fault. It was the Houston series that you had no business playing in. Well, he, the Memphis series, he was okay. He was, yeah, he, he didn't, you, yeah, he didn't hurt him in Memphis. He was really poor. I mean, in, I mean, he had a lot of turnovers. That. He was very poor offensively. Oh and yeah, Me- Memphis was very good about shuttling the ball to him and making sure his weaknesses were, you know, shining through. Because well, he did not have a his lot fault. Of tur- Russell no, Westbrook that's, was that's not in a sweep. Fault. Still, I'm just saying. I'm sure that's what's going through his mind when he's saying. Yeah, that. he needs. They're going to need Perkins a bunch against Memphis. I, Who's going to? Well, by think, the way, I how, think they should. I, regardless of how much Perkins, blah, blah blah, I think they should play Stephen Adams more. I, he seems to impact the game positively. Right, let me every ask time you guys. A, here's a question: Thunder tried this last year quite a bit. They went small with Durant guarding Gasol. They did didn't that, really work. They didn't did really that. work. But would it work? Better with Westbrook on the court. 
Yeah, I mean, anything will work better with Westbrook on the Well, now that's true. That is true. Um, but they did it earlier this season. I remember late in the game they did it, and they had Gasol post up uh, Durant in a big play, and Durant actually stood his ground. Gasol missed a, a hook, and the Thunder won. I th- here's the deal on Durant. I think Durant, if they try to that, I think Durant confront him. Yeah. And say, hey, if you guys are like this, let's see how much of a pinpoint passer you are. You know what? Throw you, it know over my head. you know what will help too. Remember last year how dead tired he was because it was like carry the offense for 48 minutes. Yeah, he can go stand and rest on offense now while a little bit while the man takes over. Yeah. And that's not a criticism, by the way, of Russell Westbrook. Yeah. No. Um, plus, he's a, he's a better defender this year. Here's the lineup I want to see: Russell Westbrook. Kevin Durant, Serge Ibaka, Nick Collison, because I think he's the X factor in this series. Well, they got to have him. And I don't care who the fifth is. Give me Tabo, give me Karan Butler, give me Derek Fisher, give me Reggie Jackson. I don't care. Tabo is less valuable in this series because Memphis really doesn't have a And you need, you need a shooter against Memphis to free up Let some pressure. Let me tell you who's playing his, his butt off offensively. Number two. Number two. Reggie Jackson. Well, yeah, offensively. Yeah. Now, he he's doing things against really well. the Pelicans. But. Here, here's the deal. Yeah, he was well, he, he shouldn't game. have been playing. He had a concussion. Yeah. He's yeah. playing like he was doped up. He was playing like you'd play after you came out of surgery in recovery. <laughs> you know, you sort of don't know where you're at. That's what Reggie, he didn't even know where he was at. But here's the deal. Boy, he's playing well on offense. Yep. And Memphis is the kind of team you don't have to worry about bad defense. That's why Tabo's not all that valuable in this series. Yeah. You're gonna have a hard time convincing me Tabo's not valuable. He's not anyone. as val. He's not as valuable in this series. Yeah, maybe not. And here's the other thing: if somebody will just go get on Miller, he's not gonna drive around you. I think I'd I probably think- throw Karan out there with that lineup. I just he'd Butler's be my good. fifth because he's making shots. I might, and he's I not might, gonna be a liability defensively. I might pull Collison and put Reggie and say, "All right, Memphis." Well, who's gonna guard Zach Randolph? Abaka. Abaka. Although, well, who's gonna guard probably- Gasol? There's going to be Durant. foul trouble. There's going to be a lot no, 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 of foul trouble. I don't want Durant on. I don't want Durant on Gasol. Well, we just talked about that two minutes ago. I, I, Talk about foul I think, trouble. I think you don't want that guy getting I, in foul trouble. I don't know if Gasol look, will get look, him in foul I, trouble. I think Durant on Gasol for, for little stretches of the game, little pockets, maybe even late in the game. But you could, I don't want you starting well, yeah, I'm not, on no, and I'm playing not talking a ton about of starting. minutes. But maybe there'll be here, time, and there. there'll, here and there. There'll be times where he's guarding him this Five, ten minutes a game? Here and there. Yeah. It'll – It'll be interesting. What, are we making predictions? Sure. Sounds like we already have. Oh, well, I mean, how, how many games? All right. Go first. You're the one that wants to make them. I just asked a question. I don't <laughs> no, no. want to make them. I'll start. I'll say Thunder and seven. Oh, Barry. What do you mean, God, Barry? What does that mean? I kind of agree with Barry. I don't know. God, I'm, AC. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking six or seven. I think it's going to – the Thunder are oh, not man. playing that great, and the Grizzlies – look, you, you know who what Memphis' record is with Marcus Gasol this year? 40 and 19. What does that got to do with the Thunder? Marcus Gasol's playing. It has to do with the, who they're playing. It's got nothing to do with the Thunder. The Thunder are not playing that well. What's the Thunder's record with their starting lineup? V- good. It's, it's good. like 19 – it's like 20 and 3 or 20 and 4. Something like, I think it's 20 and 4. Something like that, yeah. It, it was 20 and 4 last night. Yeah. Two good teams going okay. in. Which, one, which one's the higher winning Look, percentage? You're right. No, I like, hey, I like it. Who you know do I pick in the series? I'm picking the Thunder in the series. I'm just saying it's going to be a good series. That would be a good list. What's everybody's record in the NBA this season when they have all their players? Sounds like a blog's about to be posted at 3.30 by you. That's I some got research. All, I've got, it is. I've got all my blogs planned out until tip-off. Though. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll add a special this Saturday guy's blog. impressive. Maybe I'll – He's over there. Hey, I think he's over there blogging. I am blogging. About. I got too much to do now. You guys, I was going to p- do my three thirty blog at ten o'clock this morning. You guys pulled me into this, so I got to try to multitask. But I, it's going to be a good series. Good series. Yeah. How about just c- city wise? Last night when you're watching the games, who are you rooting for? Just well, I was rooting, cheering for Memphis to win. You like you like. Well, you had something at stake. Well, that's true, too. You mean like my reputation? <laughs> yeah, right. no no doubt that's, about that's it. That's right. No doubt about it. You know what I really wanted? I wanted Memphis to get the sixth and play the Clippers. Or if when it looked like the Thunder might lose to Detroit and let the Clippers get into second, I thought, you know, two and seven, Clippers, Memphis. I think Memphis would beat the Clippers. I do, too. I don't. I do. This guy's talking about how terrible Memphis is, how Thunder beat him in five. And now he's saying they beat the Clippers. 
Dude, Clifford Look how, Hader I mean, okay, Max. now, I'm going to contradict myself here. I'm, I'm willingly admitting that. <laughs> okay. You guys are the ones talking about how close that series was last year without Russell Westbrook, right or wrong. I personally don't uh, he think he did. I didn't talk about that. I per- he did. You've talked about it multiple times in the past. I don't know if that's true. About or not, how but close the series was. It was a close it series. It all came down to the final Memphis, couple minutes. Everything Memphis five does. Five point is close. games, whatever He's it right. was. He's right. Memphis games are just close games. That's so because they they're in the nineties. That was without Russell Westbrook. I personally don't think that series was all that close. I think the Thunder did just enough to kind of stay in the game, but Memphis was in control of the game in most of those games. You're right. You're telling it straight. So you're telling it straight. But they still, I mean, regardless of my feelings on it, yes, it still came down to a fourth quarter game without Russell Westbrook. So with Russell Westbrook, I just don't think the Grizzlies have enough to beat the Thunder. I don't think they have enough to I don't to think beat they have enough series. to make it a seven game series. What's your prediction? Five. I'm surprised you're giving Memphis a game. Five. Thunder and five. What game are you giving Memphis? I might give I might give the Grizzlies one more, and that's all on the Thunder. If the Thunder doesn't execute, if they come out and start throwing up dumb shots in the fourth quarter, turning the ball over, playing poor defense, then the Grizzlies will take it to six. If the Thunder comes out and I think raise their level of play like I think they're capable of doing, I don't see this being more than a five-game series. Okay, I know you you clearly are not worried about how the Thunder are playing right now. Barry, I mean, this team is not playing well right now. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Are you worried at all about a carryover? Yes, I'm worried. You're worried about a carryover? You know, I don't know if you can flip the switch. You know, Dean asked Scotty a good question last night. Can this team flip the switch? Now, he asked it poorly because he said, <laughs> the fans are going to wonder if you can flip the switch, which gave Scotty the opportunity to spend the next 90 seconds talking about the fans and not talking about flipping well, the switch. Let's be honest. If he asked it he another way, it's, well, not like, it's not like Brooks would have been. But, it, well, but here's the deal. Scott, can this team flip the switch? This team needs the flip, the switch to be flipped. Can you flip the switch? He actually asked. Kevin Durant, the same question. With a fan? No. Okay, what what Durant say? Kind of just stared at him Did he? for a little bit. It's a good question. I, I asked Perk the question. I'm not saying it's a, Perk per- said, I don't know. I yeah. like Perkins. <laughs> Perkins said, He answers it straight. Yeah. He said, we'll no, see. We're about to find out. Do you think we could get Kendrick Perkins named the head coach sometime in the future? I think it would be fun. I think more people are like that than the current setup. You mean Perkins they'd rather have, they'd rather have Brooks coaching. play center? They'd rather have Brooks play center and Perk coach? I'd rather have Steven Adams play center, personally. Why do you want Perk to coach? What do you think I, think he'd t- I don't think he could be filtered. Oh, you just want his post games. Well, yeah. And pre games. Heck yeah. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. Heck yeah. Perk's a smart basketball player, too. You're no kidding. I mean, he's a really smart, he understands the game. No kidding. If you well, c- there's a lot of people that don't think he knows anything, well, like, any good at anything. Well, the guy knows that. the game. No yeah. kidding. I mean, okay, if you could pick one coach as far as media-wise, like just strictly talking about the media, who would you want to cover as a coach? I'm, you could take an NBA or a college guy and put him in that spot. Wouldn't be anybody in college. How about the, Not Bill uh, Self? Yeah, Bill, Bill Self, Self would be Bill, Self. Bill Self's good, but I'd take Doc well, Rivers. I'd I take think. Calipari in a heartbeat. Doc Rivers I'd take. Doc Rivers would be good. Calipari is way better than Doc Rivers. I don't, I don't know so. about that. I don't, I don't think so. I don't, eh. Of course, I haven't dealt with Calipari on any kind of personal Yeah, level. that's true. I haven't either, but I've listened to his press conferences. Well, yeah, he's all right. Maybe. We could ask somebody at New Jersey about it. They dealt with him for several years. I would take Doc Rivers, though. You know, I like Popovich. Yeah, Popovich do. entertains good questions. You and Popovich are, are like undercover boys. Popovich, <laughs> Pop, Popovich <laughs> gave Barry Trammell a butt tap yes, after did. his pregame. My uh, first like, good weeks. question. My first since the seventies. So, <laughs> <laughs> when was your last? I don't know. Sometime when I was playing basketball as a fourteen-year-old, probably. I can see Greg Popovich, a young Greg Popovich, coaching a young Barry. I don't Trammell think Barry Trammell could handle Greg Popovich coaching him. I could handle. That's why I quit. Good. I take criticism pretty good. I can I can handle criticism. I'm coachable. Could, but in your face you, criticism, like shouting and screaming in your face criticism. When, when you were 14. I had some of that. A lot uh-huh. of coaches back then were like that. You know, yeah, a lot of coaches. Different day. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different well, day. Well, th- I mean, there's, co- there's coaches that are like that now. I know they get I mean, when get, I was 14, get more trouble. When I was 14, man had been on the moon for six years. <laughs> now they've been on the moon for 45 years. So it's been a long time since, uh, since I was 14. Yeah. All right. 
All right. I rode, I rode a stagecoach to school, for crying out loud. Clippers Thunder. If it comes to this, Clippers Thunder. Uh, oh, you start, Mr. Clipper. I'm wavering. I w- I'm, uh, I'm very interested in these first-round series. And once I get a feeling on how the Clippers oh. are playing. Because the Clippers, the Clippers are a better defensive team than you guys give them credit for. Yes, they, they just are. are. They, they are. are. They're getting better. Yeah. Here's the they deal. are. They and still, they got they a defensive coach it. that's The Thunder kinda... will beat the Clippers if they can get past Memphis. Because <laughs> if they beat Memphis, that means guess what? They're playing well. That switch got flipped. To a point. Not to a point. Absolutely. Well, I you mean, can't beat them without flu. If you play the way you have been, Thunder will get beaten five. Thunder's going to get beaten five if they play like this. Because here's the deal. You don't, if you don't play defense against Memphis, they're not going to – you know, they, they probably – I don't think, uh, I don't think uh, Courtney Lee is going to score 45 points on them. But they'll score a little bit, and guess what? You're not scoring 111 on Memphis. Why not? They slow they it guard down. You. They have they have an opportunity to. I mean, they they have the horses to score a lot of points Who against does? Memphis. The Thunder. They have the, yeah, they do. But well, first of all, Memphis is going to slow them down. It's unlikely. Look, look, and Mem- the game will be slow to a crawl. I agree with that. But with Russell Westbrook back, you got Reggie Jackson playing at a career like level. Like Serge Ibaka playing the best ball of his I career. Like Kevin Ibaka. Durant is about to be the MVP. MVP. You guys, do you see what's right in front of you with this team? Yeah. They've been. They had. They've had a bad stretch. They've had a bad stretch, on and off since the All Star break. This team, I think, is still the best team by far in the Western Conference. You might be right, except. Monday night, they needed to turn it on, and that way everybody could have had a jolly good time against Detroit. Grant Jarrett. Yes. And guess what? Minutes. They got lit up. So last night, you got you to gotta play everybody. Durant plays 44 minutes, 40, whatever he played. And guess 40, what? 45, wasn't it? Did he play 45, 45 minutes? Played 45. <laughs> I know. That's, that's three straight 40-minute games by Durant. <laughs> In games that, you and know, I, before the season you would have been like, well, those are the games he's going to sit. You guys are making me less and less optimistic about the Thunder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I agree with you. Oh, uh, man, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a good playoffs. And I'm glad we're probably driving to Memphis, which I hate. I wish it was Dallas so we could have just that's not made bad, the three-hour drive. Point, but here's what I like about it. Here's what I like about it. No, here's what I like about it. Okay. We're going to have more time for me to point out to you guys how wrong you were. On the way home, you mean? Yeah. Look, look, he's more on this like Memphis bandwagon than I'm. I just think it's going to be a good series. I still think the Thunder are going to win it. I'm probably still picking them to come out of the West, but I just think there's worries going into this. If they, like he said, if they play like they have been, which is possible, I think Memphis will beat them. We're going to have seven hours of a drive to Memphis after the Thunder smacks them in Oklahoma City the first two games. Then we're going to have seven more hours in the car ride together. On the way back, after the Thunder smacks them at least once out there. Again. If we come home from Memphis, Thunder up three one. Let me tell you what we'll do. I will set on an alarm on my cl- on my iPhone. It goes off every ten minutes, and when it beeps, I will pronounce to everyone in the vehicle, "All hail RFD! All hail RFD!" I three promise. One. If it's this three one, coming I promise. Back three one. I promise. Okay. Well, what if it's not? What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, say I was wrong. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't rub people's face in it. Um, but. Uh, I am looking forward to the trip. Is it wrong of me to like road trips? I don't mind road Literal, trips. Literal. I don't mean road trips as in going somewhere. Mean I mean road trips as in, in literally car. being on the road. We, we don't do it enough. I love the concept of a spirit decor. And you, we got a rookie. We got a rookie. Yeah, we do have a rookie. <laughs> he's never drive. been on the open road with us. We should make him drive. Do you need me to call my rental, uh, Reynolds Ford yeah. and get one of those big expeditions yeah. so that we can all five get in the car? I thought we had a good time. We could do some road podcasts. We could do some road podcasts. Kyle, is that do, is that feasible? Can you do a uh, remote podcast from the yeah, open road? Yeah, I, he says yes. You know what we've done? We've done uh, the Google Hangouts from the open road. Podcasts are way better than Google Hangouts. I'm with you. I'm with you. But I like it. We'll, uh, we can zip down there. I liked Memphis last year as a city, and I did not. Going, coming home, I thought it was great. Yeah. I enjoyed my four days there with you guys. I well, thought with, you were going to warm up to Houston in the first round. I think you sort of did, but not really. Not really. Not uh, more. Not really than sort of. Yeah. What's uh, the traffic was not near as bad as I thought. What's your well, I, What's your ideal path city wise? The next four oh, series, if it goes four. The Bay Area. 
You know, I was, I was. Let's go, in Warriors. The, in the Area. back of my mind, nothing against LA or the Clippers, but let me tell you, we've been to LA plenty of times. One of my favorite spots on earth is San Francisco. You don't gotta have convinced me. You know that. I'll show you around Northern California. Uh, AC. Yeah, appreciate that. I'll show you around. <laughs> I I got no interest in going to places you can take me. I promise you that. Uh, I'd, I'd probably uh, agree. And then with that. Uh, last round be uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. well, I'd like to go to Portland. Yeah, but it's gonna but be that's... it's gonna be Houston or San Antonio. Yeah. So San Antonio, San Antonio, not even close. Yeah, I was last night. I was back. My mind was thinking if we could get Golden State and then L. A. in the first two. You're rounds. trying to bust the budget, my friend. Uh-huh. You're trying to you're trying to bankrupt us. That'd be great. Maybe but... we could drive to the Bay Area. Uh yeah, I I drove out here from the Bay Area. You know how long it is? Oh, it's about two and a half days. Yeah, twenty eight hours. Well, there you go. Do not want to make that. I'm gonna have to make it one more time, but I don't want to make it again. Uh, all right, you guys want to talk league wide series? League wide series. Let, Let me tell you what's fascinating. Hmm. The Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. You know what they stood up on the mountain and said? I want to play Miami. I want to play Miami. Which. I think they want to be fresh when they play Miami. I think they don't want to play Chicago. Because they want to play Chicago before they have to play Miami. I just – I think the Bulls are going to the East Finals. You, th- you think they're going to beat – well, let's talk right now. Let's talk right now. Atlanta, Indiana – Indiana's going to win that, right? I mean, we're talking about a 37-win team. Sweet. Atlanta. That's a sweep. I, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't, Mine, like, either I, I bet I don't you, like either team. Neither I, team do I like. I, I bet you Atlanta gets hot in a game and maybe wins one. So we don't even need to talk about the series. We definitely don't need to talk about Heat Bobcats. It's a sweep. That is I a sweep. don't know. I mean, uh, that might, Charlotte might get one. I doubt What's it. But they, they What's Dean Wade's status? He's played the last few games. I mean, he's like, he's going to be available. I don't know how good he's going to be. But they're they're going to ease him in it. If they go, up, if they go up 3-0, they'll probably rest him. That's probably a sweep. Um, Brooklyn, Toronto. That's an interesting series. Because it is interesting, and let me tell you what. Especially because Toronto knows that Brooklyn said, we're good at six. We'll play Toronto. Toronto might beat them. I agree. I disagree. Disagreement from RFD. Um, they don't have many guys that have been in the playoffs. You're right. They Lowry don't have the a little. Lowry a little. a little. DeRozan hasn't. Terrence Ross hasn't. Big guy Jonas Valencia. A.K.A. Anthony Slater hasn't. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna get buckets in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> if you can stay off uh, off the grandpa's cough medicine while you're driving. Do the Nets have anybody that's been in the playoffs? Their their coach has never coached a playoff <laughs> game, <laughs> but he's played a ton. Um, yeah, I, I, that'd be interesting. I want somebody to add up the playoff games that the Nets have played to the Raptors. What do you think that? Well, is? it'd be a lot like uh, that Laker Thunder. It'd be like 270 to Lakers? two. Yep, yep. 2010. Well, they'd played. None? Did the Lake? Did the Thunder have anybody they that pro- had played in the playoffs? They maybe somebody off the bench. Go oh, Collison. Kevin Collison. Ollie. Kevin Ollie, maybe. Yeah, but just one series, right? Four yeah. games or five games? Yeah. Hey, Kevin Ollie. Yeah, maybe. Kobe had played more in the whole Thunder yeah, roster. Yeah, and, and well, guess who else was on the team? Fisher. Steve Fisher. <laughs> um, yeah, but Derek that- Fisher, who by the way is a, is I think four games from becoming the all time NBA leader in playoff games played. Really? Mm-hmm. So. Game five of Memphis. Guess, who, guess who's number one? Who is number one? Robert Ory. Robert Ory. Is he guess, really? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Remember, I mean, this, this is the time period where there's everything seven right, games right. and there's so right, many right. series, yeah. so that's kind of why. Now, Havlicek didn't get as many rounds. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, Jabari either, for that matter. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, I think that's going to be an interesting one. No doubt about but it. I, what, if, but if the Nets get the heat in the semis? Can they knock off the Heat? They're four and zero against them this year, but no, I, I don't think in the playoffs. I think they're going to make it a challenge. I think Paul Pierce will have one of those like vintage thirty nine point games and and win a game, and th- it'll probably be a six game series. But I don't think they'll beat the Heat. Probably not. Probably not. You think Brooklyn can beat the Heat? No. I don't know. All right. Uh, Wizards, Bulls, Darnell. I've get, been waiting. Get, I've been waiting patiently, Darnell. holding my tongue, because Barry said Chicago might go to the Eastern Conference Finals. How are they going to go to the Eastern Conference Finals when they're not going to get past oh the my. Wizards? Oh, my. Give us your uh, campaign speech. John Wall, Bradley Beal, Marcin Gortat. Probably the most underrated trade of the season. Gortat. 
Gortat for Okafor. Gortat can get his lunch. The only thing we should have done is we should have kept Kendall Marshall. I keep saying I shouldn't say we on this podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. The only thing nobody the should have done. Nobody holds it the only against thing, you since the The only the thing the Wizards should have <laughs> yeah, done right. was kept Kendall Marshall. Instead, You're, they had Eric Maynard. They had Eric Maynard, and they thought, they thought, hey, you know, this guy played pretty well for the Thunder. Yeah. He can play well for us. You're like the you're like the old married guy who keeps referring to a, 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 you know a, a, his old teenage heartthrob. If it's a real person that he went to school with, his current wife's not crazy about that. But if it's like Valerie Bertinelli or somebody, some famous, the wife says, "Who cares? You got no chance with her." Go ahead and talk about the Wizards all you want. Nobody cares. They got no chance. This is a this is a made for NBA TV series that. The Bulls are winning six, and the Bulls are winning six, and it might be in and four. A, and I'll watch like uh, how, how much of the series do you think you'll watch, Barry? I'll watch every game of every series, every chance I get. Yeah, let me guess, except for the Wizards. No, I'll watch them all. Now Sunday, I got a bad day. Sunday, I don't know. I'm okay, wondering. if you had to pick a series, well, no, I was gonna say if you had to pick a series not to watch, the Hawks Pacers would be mine, but this this would be close. I'm going. I'm going. No, series. I will always watch the Bulls. Yeah, always. Yeah. In fact, this is by far the most interesting series to me in the East, just because I'm amazed at the Bulls. This is a franchise in which the management didn't want to win. Yeah, they didn't want to win, and it almost like inspired the team. To you know, they to just forgot that they got a coach who doesn't buy into that and teaches his guys how to win. And I don't mean. I don't mean in the abstract. I mean in the. I would have loved to, I guess, been like a fly on the wall in some of those mid-season meetings with with Thibodeau talking to management, especially after the Dang trade. The Dang trade. Holy crap! How could you trade Luol Dang for nothing? Tank. They were trying. They were trying to tank. And Tom Thibodeau said, instead of tanking, how about we just win the East? And then when they when and then uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if they won the East. Oh my! And as they go out and do the and they do the presentation. Remember we did it here at the Ford Center when uh, when the Thunder beat the Spurs and Clay got his, his only public speaking as far as I know in the last five years. It wouldn't surprise me if they start that ceremony and Tom Thibodeau and his players just walk off the court. Just walk off the court. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the series. Yeah, who, who, you really think you really. Picking the Wizards? Yeah, I'm picking the Wizards. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here's let, what's going to happen to the Wizards, which they got a nice little team. I got, I'm not begrudging yeah, the Wizards. Uh, that's, probably the about, that's probably the best description I've heard of the Wizards. Yeah, they got a nice little here's, team. Who, who jumps center for the Wizards? Marcin Gortat. Okay. Chances are the Bulls will win the tip. So, let's say the Bulls win the tip. <laughs> okay. Going to run up. They'll probably miss. They're not any good on offense. They'll miss their first shot. Wizards will get the rebound. They'll flip it to John Wall. He's going to turn, zip up court, and say, oh, man, what is this? There's going to be bulls everywhere. They play They guard you from the start, and they never give up. There's going to be bulls everywhere except, oh, who's that lost dude, uh, Carlos Boozer, in the corner not playing Boozer's defense? Boozer's not going to play that And much. I was going to say that two minutes in, they'll throw Gibson. Taj Gibson. And, <laughs> and then the defense. Yeah, the Wizards better out. score 14 points in the first two minutes. Yeah. But, uh, all right, well, we're on the east. So, do, are you picking bulls over Pacers then? Oh, From yeah. what I'm they gathering? They may sweep them. They may okay. beat them. They may beat them That's by the, the same day. score. They may beat them by the same score all four games. What is it? Ninety-three it, to seventy-six. I'm I'm surprised you're giving anyone in that series ninety-three points. Nine, well, it's going to be like eighty-six to seventy-six with a minute left, and they'll just keep fouling, and the Bulls will make some foul shots. How, what, Darnell? What are your chances, Bulls, in that series? I, I'm, picking the Pacers, Pacers, I'm picking the Pacers. I'm picking the Pacers. Pacers. I, I agree. Pacers. I don't think they're beating the Pacers. I mean, you talk about defense. You, you're fired up with defense over here. Pacers Indiana's are, the best defensive team in the league. They're historically good defensive. Yeah, but they're messed up. What do you mean they're they messed up? They is messed up. They're, they're more messed up than the Thunder. They had a bad stretch. I think yeah, they're and, the it's best, the, and this is the stretch. They're still the Barry, best defensive team in the I league. I think you're overrating the end of the regular season a little bit. Maybe so. A little Maybe bit. So. Maybe a, so. a lot of it. Maybe Jeez. so. Jeez. I mean, I think there are some concerns, obviously, for the Pacers. There are some concerns for the Thunder, but, I mean, I could easily see 
two weeks from now, we're like, wow. Those a are the week two- from now, we're not going to remember those the, are the Thunder we- loss to the Pelicans. We're well, not going to remember the Indiana Pacers struggle so much in the in late in the season. Well, I I'm gonna I'm gonna hold a judgment. I'm gonna hold judgment on the Pacers because they're playing the Hawks in the first round. Well, when they sweep them, all will be forgiven. I think I think it might be a good series against the Bulls. I'll take the Pacers, but that is going to be a slugfest. Man. All right, well, uh, Heat, Nets, we already talked about. I think we're all taking the Heat. Going with Miami. you going with Miami to the, ty- or to the Eastern Conference. Or are you ha- picking them to win the Eastern Conference? Miami to you- win the East. As much as I'd love to see Chicago do it. Now, you guys, you'd be fired up if we had a Chicago Thunder Finals. It's not. They're not getting out of the first round, Barry. Oh geez, you, you just picked the Thunder in five. You know what his, you know what his. I'm talking about the Bulls. Oh, okay. Hey, you know what he's pumped about? He's Thunder Wizards final, but he's picking. You still got it. T- so you're saying there's a chance? Hey, the Thunder could be going to Washington, but only to visit the White House after the title. They're not be playing the Wizards anytime. I soon. agree with that. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go west then. Um, Mavs Spurs, is that a sweep? Sweep. I, I think Dallas will get one. Yeah, Dirk will get one. They'll get one. They've been playing well. They've been playing well, but sweet. Sweet. <laughs> well, we got we got all time Mavs hater here. I remember you. I think early in the season. Yeah, you're saying, still on that. There is no chance Dallas is making the playoffs. And they barely did. I was wrong, but but barely. Well, in the West, that was Memphis barely made it. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're tied. with the, with Gasol out for uh, forty games. Hey, speaking of Dallas, the pick. The pick. Yeah, they got they got that, Dallas. Thunders you keep got, saying that's good news, and you've been saying I think it's bad news. No, no, I you pointed to the wrong people. I've been saying that it's good that they get the pick. That they get the pick. yeah, and so does our AC. I, I, his I've writing. Kinda, I've kind of he's I'm, come I'm looking at his writings. It, yeah, no, I don't I, remember what he said. But I, I I never I don't think I ever made the argument either way. I was just kind of being devil's advocate to you as far as maybe they would want it still as an asset. But I but as you've talked about, I think they're gonna. They're going to trade 21, trade 29, get up to maybe 15, f- yeah, 14, 15, and get a player. There's, get a player. there's a lo- I've been looking at this draft. There's a lot of good players. A lot players. of players. Kyle Anderson, I think, is going to be By really good. By the way, good. Yeah, as an aside, I found a place for Marcus Smart to go. Where? Lakers. I Detroit. Uh, they need a point Jenner guard. Is horrible. I don't they know, need a point you, guard. I don't know if you want to throw him in that. I mean, this yeah, is just talking. No, Marcus, you're right. You don't want to throw him in that environment. You're right. Well, I'm not saying for his benefit. I'm just saying Detroit needs a point guard. Oh, no doubt about it. There's a lot of teams that need one. I think if if you're in Marcus Smart's camp, you want him to go to the Lakers. Well, yeah. Him, or Boston. Yeah. but you Get to Detroit, and you got those two guys to flip the ball to? But I feel like Marcus Smart's personality would fit very well with Kobe Bryant. I think Kobe would – as as Kobe's going out of the league, kind of tutor so, smart. But they got, I mean, that's a mess. A little bit, but I, I mean. It's like being on an episode of the Kardashians. It'll be interesting. This draft's going to be a really interesting draft. What, what's the I think there's the going to be a What's ton? the date of the draft? Uh, it's like right after Last the finals. Thursday June, in, uh, June? Tw- June 20 something. I got some bad news for you guys. What? You're going to have to draft without me. Where are you going? Hawaii? You're going out of the country? I'm leaving the – You're going out of the – Barry Trammell is leaving, going out of the country. I'm leaving the lower 48. Is that the first time? I'm going where the United States Constitution doesn't mean a dang thing. Is that the f- – how many times you've been out of the country? I've been to uh, Juarez, Mexico, and I've been from Niagara Falls, Canada, to Windsor, Canada. So from Buff- some, from Niagara Falls to Detroit. That's the two places I've been. What are you going to Italy for? My wife is going to uh, – do her uh, job, and so got the opportunity to well, go I with mean, her. Yeah. So I'm going to go with her. You can go to Italy. I hope you Rome, love it. Rome, Venice, Barry, and Arezzo. I hope you love it because you need I to travel out of the country more. You're missing a whole – there's I'm a whole sure other right. world out there. There's no doubt about it, but I just – I'm partial to the Constitution. <laughs> All right. June 26th, the NBA draft is. There is, is it really? I think that's the day I leave. Uh, there is so many good players in this draft. It's a lot of them. It's a lot. And you know what? Every year that the Thunder has has had a low pick, people have said, "Oh, nothing's going to come of that." They go, they turn it into Serge Ibaka, back in Seattle. I remember we had an intern here who said Serge Ibaka's never. They're tanking. They're trying to. They're blowing up the franchise. Who's the intern? Name names. They're blowing up the franchise. Name. They, he's names. never. He said Serge Ibaka's never going to play a minute in the NBA. Good. 
Well, look at Reggie Jackson. Was it at 25? Reggie Jackson's the 20. I think was 24, he 24, 26. Pick? 20, I think he was 24. 24. Norris Cole. Andre yeah. Robertson, what, the 28th pick? Yeah. Something like that? Well, Perry Jones was Perry, 28. No, tw- Perry 20, Jones was 28. 20. No, per- Perry Jones, I think, was 28 or 27 or 29. He was late. He was off the end. So it was late, Robertson yeah, was Robertson. around there. Late, 20, late 20s, they're getting these guys. That's four really good players. Well, two really good two Two, two, two really, big-time players two and two really good contributors. And two contributors. I think with Presty having two more late what would first you round have? picks, would you rather have twenty one and twenty nine or one of AC's fourteen? I think there's no way they're going to keep both of those. I think he's going to try his best to trade up, and if he doesn't, he's going to trade out, get something, flip it, and it's going to become another asset. Either way, Sam Presty works magic. You want him to have these picks, especially in this draft. All the talk of let's hold off till twenty eighteen and hope for it to be a top five pick. I thought it was foolishness. I, the Mavs I are never going to be that bad with Mark Cuban. It's a good point. It's a good I, point. I think there are arguments to why you'd have it. Like I mean, I mean, just having the asset to say, hey, we, hey, uh, you know, Pistons, we got a future first round draft pick. Throw us Greg Monroe yeah. and Andre Drummond. Yeah, right. So I think that that Too bad Joe Dumars is leaving. Yeah, the building. right. Um, but but I agree. I mean, I've been looking more and more at this draft, and man, it's not just a top heavy draft. It's a good. Good draft. I I did my I did and my. There's always players that we don't even know of that come out and mm-hmm. and surprise us late in the first. Clay Anthony early, I think, is gonna be good from Wichita. I've never a, heard of so Andre Roberson. So many people. Never heard of him until they picked him. Yeah, I sat there in New Orleans with a New Orleans writer. He was like, "Who's Andre Robertson? Who's this guy? Where he was he a first round pick? He didn't yeah. have any idea yeah. who he was, but he came in that game and he changed he was the complexion good in that of that game. game. He was yeah, good. He, was good. he should have played more. Yeah. It, it, I was doing my all rookie uh, second team, first and second team ballot uh, for the NBA thing. And man, his second team was just so brutal. But and I was just imagining if I do this again next year, this second team, I bet I'm gonna Somebody's be like, gonna man, this is, this is a stack. Yep, that's my guess. But anyways, all right, more West. Uh, so yeah, Spurs over Mavs. Uh, Blazers Rockets. I think this is a Rockets. very interesting series. I, I, I I'd like to see Portland win because I like Terry Stotts, but yeah, I think Houston's. Going You're to right. Win. I like that franchise. They I like Aldridge. They still don't have good depth in Portland. It's yeah, better, but it's not. They've good. really shown who they really were in the second half. Yeah, they're just, they're pretty good, but Houston will get them. Yeah, I agree. Um, Warriors Clippers. That's gonna no be bogut it. kills them. They Do, can play, does it though? Yeah, they can play small without Lee, but I don't think they can play small without yeah, Bogut. I agree. I mean, if you were going to pick one of those two, you would take a Lee would sit out. But what I mean, I don't know if you watched that Warriors Memphis or Warriors Timberwolves game the other day, but um, Bogut was out, and then they went really small. They went like Draymond Green at the four, and I I don't remember who they had playing the five, but they were that when they go small, they're really good. They're great. They're great, but they start showing you what they can do offensively. Yeah, I don't. I just don't know what they can do with the Clippers though. Yeah, that's. A, I mean, you gotta have. The hey, option. you don't got. You don't got to convince me. You gotta have the, the option of going big against Clippers, and now they don't really have that option. That might be the second best series in the, in the first round. ABC likes it. What's the What's the best? I think I think Grizzly Thunder is gonna be a really good series. I do too. No, I think I think I think uh, Clippers Warriors would be the best. I think Houston Portland would be the second best. Do you really? Maybe Portland beat them. There's a good good bad blood between Lillard and uh, our old friend Pat Beverly. Is he gonna play? He's back. Yeah, he's, he's playing, playing and he's, playing. he's getting playing. into it. He's already gotten into it with yeah. with Lillard. Yeah. He's uh man, I would love it. Rockets Western Thunder Finals. Oh man, would that that would mean both teams are playing very well. Mm-hmm. Both teams will be fired up. Man, that would be a series. Oof. 